Blessed be, and welcome to the Circle of Hecate. I'm Lady Amaris. So it's the time of the autumn equinox, well, at least in the southern hemisphere. And uh, we just had our autumn equinox celebration and uh, just doing a little bit of, bit of a video of our altar and uh, just have a little bit of a talk about a little bit about the autumn equinox. And uh, I will in uh, future videos really talk about the, the seasons and the wheel of the year, how it is done in the Southern Hemisphere. Not all witches in the Southern Hemisphere adhere to um, the flipping of the, the, uh, the Sabbaths, but um, we'll, we'll talk about how, how we do it at the Circle of Hecker anyway. So we have the Autumn Equinox. Now this happens around about um, um, yeah, March 19, 20, um, 21st, around about, obviously because it's an equinox and it's to do with the, the movement of the sun, it's not going to be on the same day every year. Uh, now this is a time of weighing and sorting. Because it is an equinox, it is almost like things in the balance, light and dark are at a relatively equal length. Um, if you've asked a scientist, then there is no actual uh, equal day and night at the equinox. It's a bit of a myth, but at this time, the energies seem to be in balance. Um, so as at the spring equinox, we are now poised upon the threshold. Light and dark are equal, but like but like uh, many things, dark begins to gain. The harvest is gathering and we begin to look forward to a cosy fire in the evenings. Although the days may still be warm, this is a crossover point and the balance is delicate. The equinox, the equinoxes have a subtle quality to them. Each, uh, especially felt at autumn. And the drama may be that of stormy weathers um, or fluctuations in temperature. I know here we had a, quite a few days that went back up to the ones that we had during midsummer. So that's 40 degrees, that's 40 degrees uh, Celsius, not uh, 40 degrees Fahrenheit. I'm not sure what that is in Fahrenheit, but it is pretty damn hot. So we had a few fluctuations in in temperature, so highs and and quite lows. And sometimes, like each day, would be um, one would be cold and one would be hot, as if it is the scales trying to form a balance. So the mother goddess presides over the stores and stores the sharp, scented, and juicy preserves. The god is with her as a shadowy presence. For this is the time when he begins his descent into darkness. The autumn equinox is considered to be the second of the three harvest festivals. Now is the time for weighing and sorting, so all may be in order for the coming winter. So things to do at the autumn equinox. Well, if you're living in, in, say, a rural area where you don't have a lot of uh, maybe central heating, then going into the woods and, and finding, uh, finding, um, finding some trees and some, um, some wood so that you can keep warm over the winter months. Um, making sure that uh, you have a lot of uh, food in stores ready for those cold winter months. It's also a time to start to thinking about descending into the underworld, descending into your subconscious. So it's a good time to start just thinking about at least some shadow work that you would like to do during the, the dark times, the colder times, those introspective times. So uh, the autumn equinox is also known as Marbon. Now Marbon is a relatively new name for this time. Um, it's kind of, it was, it was used and coined, I think, in the 1970s. It started to become uh, popular. Um, but um, I, I 
never really resonated with me to say that it was Marbon. I always have always called it the Autumn Equinox. Um, so, um, but that's just me. It's always it's also called the Wine Harvest, and it can be known as the Feast of Avalon. So there's just a, a little bit about the equinox. I'll go into it a little bit more, as I said, in uh, future, future, um, and that's my cue to uh, to stop. And uh, I hope you all had a wonderful Marbon, or in the Northern Hemisphere. I hope you had a wonderful spring equinox. Merry meet, merry part, and merry meet again. Blessed day.